everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cute little um, handbag, gift bag, um, purse. Um, and you can make it in any size that you want. So once you get used to the process and how I do it, you'll be able to create any size that you want really. So it's really, really fun. Um, this one doesn't fold flat. <laughs> I did say that I was going to be making trying to make all my gift bags fold flat but this one you just don't want to ruin the the design of this and it just doesn't really work as a fold flat I'm going to be using this to put a bottle of perfume in and I'm going to have the tissue just kind of sticking out the top so I like it like this one anyway and you can see it's all one piece of 12 by 12 and then I finished it off I've got these here which I picked up from the range and they're plastic or resin um, covered and I, they've been sat here for ages and I just thought I don't know what to do with them so I just popped them on here with my hot glue and I just think they look really fun. Um, die cut this sentiment three times, just stacked it up on top of each other and um, yeah it's a really fun little gift bag. So these papers that I've been using and the card that I use is um, that stripy one, yeah, is this one here from the Razzle Dazzle by Simply Creative. And the one I'm using today is going to be this polka dot here. And this is the Tropicana by the same company. And then the cardstock is this one here, which is the one I rave about. It's really great cardstock. Um, and again, all of this will be listed in my blog below. So um, let me just pull in everything I've got here. So I'm going to be using this um, cutting shapes again, the X cut ones, which I used um, in other tutorials. Um, I really do like this. So, um, but you can make this without this and this here. You'll just have to cut it by hand, but I'll talk you through that. It's my die for later. Okay, so if you don't want to mat on top of it so if you don't want to do this here then just have your main 12 by 12 pieces patterned paper or cardstock okay um, and then you won't have to worry about faffing about about cutting out this other shape to stick on top so it's entirely up to you so if you're just going to use 12 by 12 pattern paper that's all you will need and then you will need your handles now mine are this odd length which is about nine and three quarters nine and seven eighths of an inch because that was what was in my scrap and I just didn't want to cut anything but I do think you could probably go a little bit longer so I would say if you can then use 12. Um, if you're going to use this length then I wouldn't do it at one inch wide which is what I've got. I would go down to three quarters of an inch and then I'd do the layer on top at half an inch. Okay so yeah, it's entirely up to you with the handles, longer, shorter, you know, you might not want to put them on, you might want to keep it as like a clutch bag style, and you may want to put a little closure in the middle instead, um, rather than handles. So again, once you see what I'm doing, it's very easy to adapt and change. Then you just need pattern paper to obviously layer on top, but if this is patterned, then you won't need this piece, but I'll talk you through that when we get to it. So first of all, with your scoreboard, um, two very easy score lines, if I can find where my um, stylus has gone. I seem to always leave it somewhere just before I'm about to do a video. Okay, so along one of the 12 inch sides, you wanna score at five inches and at seven inches. Okay, that's it, so get rid of that. Now, this is when you get to decide um, what size you want to do it. To be fair, you can decide on this as well. So um, I've got this at two inches wide, so it will create a two inch base, which is what this one is here. If you want to do larger, you could do a three inch, you can any, any kind of width really that you want. It just means that your sides will become shorter. So I think that this is quite a good size. I would go up to maybe three, three and a half, maybe four, but I wouldn't really go any wider than that. Then you need to decide how kind of wide you want your base, okay? So this is what you're playing around with, it's this piece here. So I came in at three inches to make that size that I've got there, uh, like so. So I've done a little, um, you can do a pencil mark or just put a little marker with your stylus at three inches on this line, this line, this line and this line, three inches. Okay, and that will give you this size here. Now I wanna do a slightly different one just cause I wanna see for my myself. So with this one, I'm gonna come in at four. 
So I'm just going to change it just slightly and do a little marker at four. And again, and one more there. Okay, so I've just got four little marks at four inches. And then you want to do those same four inch marks on the outer part. So um, again, just a tiny little notch. Like I said, if you want to use pencil, you can do one there. And then again, at this opposite end here, you don't need to do them on the left or the right, it's just the top and the bottom. Um, so again, four and four. Okay, so I've got these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, these tiny little markers. Then what you want to do is grab whatever it is, you want a circle object, um, and you are now, so if you don't have this, what I have here, all you will do is line up the side of whatever it is that you're using to both of those four inch marks and do a pencil mark and then cut around that pencil mark. Now the good thing about this is I can line up this. Now it does cut slightly larger than the circle, so I'm not, I haven't butted it right up to the, the little marks that I've left. I've left a baby like a couple of millimeters. And then I can grab this. I'm gonna start from the score line side, so I can just see there. And then I'm just gonna cut straight up and it will already cut that for me. Now, like I said, if you don't have this, it's fine. Just draw a pencil and then just cut that yourself. But you wanna do this on all four of these sections. So again, sit that one in place. Start from the score line because it's easier to see and get going that way. And you can always just use your snips to just get in if you need to, but I seem to be doing a good job there. So now you will see these two bits cut. I'm gonna just rotate it. And again, do the same on this side. So now what you can do is pop it back into your scoreboard and we just wanna create some little tabs. So this time we're working along this side. So here's the pieces that we cut out. Now we wanna work along this one here. And all we're gonna do is score at half. So, um, so first of all, we're gonna score at four and a half down to that cut piece, okay? Then it'll be seven and a half, again, down to that cut piece and rotate the whole thing around and do that again. So four and a half and seven and a half, okay? So that's what you should now have it looking. So I can already see the style that this is gonna create. It looks quite fun. So um, right now we need to do a bit of cutting. So I'm just gonna remove that one and grab my scissors. And you wanna cut up those um, score lines that we just created and that will give us our tab. Just be careful when you get to the end because you don't want to catch and snip your front or your back of your bag. And then again. And keep these pieces because these are the pieces that I use to die cut my sentiment or if you want to make your little um, matching closure then these are the pieces that you will use die cutting flowers any of your kind of in, in, you know embellishments and decorations okay so that is now what you will have so you'll have something similar to this you may have um, more of an oval shape yours may be quite big like almost up here if you go if you come if you don't go too far in it means that your sides will be quite low so if I imagine if I only came in because that's the three inches that I showed originally I've come in at four so mine's going to come up to here if you do two you can see you're going to have a, 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 a shorter side and again one and a half and one but I mean the these still will work nicely for just, you know, um, something that, I'm trying to think about something that would work with that, but play around, use some scrap card. It's just really, really fun to create different kind of shapes. So now that we've got this, we need to burnish our, all those little tabs and then lift up that main piece. Just that way you prevent ripping it. So again, those ones and then lift up this one here. Okay, so now when I bring this up, so I fold 
Oh, I didn't do those score lines. They were the other ones I needed to tell you to do, but you don't want to put this in your scoreboard. It's easy to just use your ruler. You just want to score from point to point. Um, and this will create your um, sides and your base. And then I can just lift them up now, like so, to layer. Um, work out your layer size. So the easiest way I find to do this is um, find your, oh, something stuck on it, there we go. Find your, so I'm just gonna line this up with my grid. There we go. You wanna find your center point of this section here. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so along that line there, because I'm covering mine, I'm just gonna put a little mark there. And then what you wanna do is bring in your pattern paper, line it up with that line and pull it over to this side and just decide how much of a border you want. So here I'm having about a quarter of an inch. Yeah, okay. So then I wanna, again, sticking along that line and using my grid, come in at a quarter here and just put a little pencil mark. Okay, so I know that that's where I wanna cut this piece. And then again from the top, so again, I can see now, I can just one, two, three, that's four inches. So I know there's my middle point. So again, I'm gonna line this up. Again, coming down, so I've got about a quarter of an inch border here. And then again, I wanna do that from this score line up. And again, put a little pencil mark there. This has got a grid on it, this paper actually, and it lines perfectly with that one. So that's telling me now that I know that I need a piece that's a kind of a rectangle shape of this side and I, size, and I need two of them. So I'm just gonna grab my trimmer and I'll be able to get two pieces of these from this one side so I can cut straight down, get rid of that piece. And then I can see what this actual measurement is. So there's that pencil mark. So I'm just gonna line it up and this is coming in at four and I'm gonna just pull it up a little bit there. So it's four and five eighths of an inch. I'll rub that pencil out in a second. And that was the other piece, wasn't it? I was just about to get rid of it. Yep, so four and five eighths and four and five eighths. And I'll tell you what the width is as well. So you are gonna need, because I've just extended it slightly. So I'd say a six by four and five eighths. You need two pieces, all right? So if you're following my one exactly here. And now you can see, if you sit that in, you've got nice border here, 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 and here, okay? And again, down this one. Just bring this up a bit. And just check that you're happy Again, with that one there, I can see that that's all gonna have a nice border all the way around. So now what you want to do is with the same thing that you used. Now I'm not gonna cut this, I'm just gonna use my pencil, but you wanna kind of butt this piece of whatever it is that you're drawing around right up to the edge there of your um, paper and just draw around it. And again, on the other side, and just draw around. Okay, I've just rubbed that side out. What you wanna do is when you've done the first one, just measure and it's coming in at one and one eighth and one and one eighth. So just make sure one and one eighth. I'm just doing a little pencil mark and one and one eighth. So some people might find this quite fiddly. This is why I said, you know, if you're using pattern paper, then you don't have to do any of this. And then just make sure that the sides of this, again, line up with those pencil marks and it will give you a nice even shape. So you can see the shape that I've created there. So now I'm gonna cut this one out and then I'm just gonna use this to trace around so I don't have to do all that again twice. So just neatly go and cut this out. Okay, so that's that one. And then I'm gonna flip this over and trace it on this side here. Um, and you will do this for whatever size you have. So just follow, just put a little pencil mark in the middle of that longest side and then you'll be able to, you know, do that same process with any size that you have. 
Okay, and then again, just cut this one out. Okay, so they're all done. And then just grab your paper and just sit it on top and you should have two nice mats there. Now it's thicker on that side because it's a curved um, shape. So what you can do, I'm quite happy with that actually. I'm not gonna change it at all. I was just gonna go a little bit um, shorter. I might just trim my length just because I've got a line there on this. I've got that grid paper kind of pattern. I'm just going to trim a little bit off, not much, and then just sit it over this one here. And it's working along that same line. So again, once you've got the initial shape, you can then just kind of go into it a little bit. Yeah, there you go. I think that just gives it a little bit more of an even border all the way around. Okay, so that's what you will have. Um, so now get those stuck down. I'm gonna use my double-sided tape and a little bit of wet glue. Okay, so that's now all stuck down. So now we can actually put the, um, the bag together. So start with one side and do all of your glue along your tab, like so. And then just bring it in and you want to try and keep it to as much of a right angle as possible. Okay, so just hold it up there and you just want to make sure that you've got a nice straight line working along there. Don't worry if it's a little bit crooked, if it goes out more or goes in slightly. Um, but if you've got a grid like I've got here, I can just see this line here and just make sure it runs all the way up. Just lift that there. So I'm just that line is just continuing there. And then just with my bone folder, just make sure that's all stuck down. Get rid of any of that glue, which should dry clear. And then work on the opposite one, but on the same side. It's easier to do it this way. So you can get in into it. Like so. And again, bring that in. And again, if you've got a grid, just line it up with that, like so. And again, just spread that out. Oh, nearly lost it. Okay, so you can see there what I've done. And then you just want to glue one at a time and do the same on this side, just stick it to that one. Okay, so that's now all stuck down. Got a little bit of glue there, still drying, but that's all how it should look. So I have already done my little sentiment, which is gonna go like so. And then I've got my handles, so they are gonna go like this. It's gonna look so cute. And I've also got these that I'm gonna put on as well. So I'm gonna use exactly the same stuff. It's gonna be quite clustered together, but I think it's still gonna look super, super cool. So first of all, you wanna stick down these. So I am gonna use, I'm gonna go straight in and stick these with my hot glue, just so I don't have to, oh, which is not on. Okay, so there you have it. How cute is that bag? I absolutely love it. And there's the back as well. So that's that size, which was coming in at four inches. Then you can just see the difference with this one that comes in at three inches. So it really does transform it. And like I said, if you do a wider um, base, um, yeah, they can, they're really, really fun to do. So um, I'd like to see it even smaller, actually. You could do exactly the same principle on a sheet of eight by eight, um, a sheet of six by six, as I say, 10 by 10, seven by seven, anything you want. So um, I love them. I think they're really, really fun and they're really strong. And again, perfect for parties. They'd be lovely little party bags. Sir a little girl's party. Anyway, I'm done. So if you enjoyed today, please give me a thumbs up as always and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.